It's a great big world. We're magic. And Mike Barrett with us from Barrett Insurance Agency. We talk good policies. Mike, do you wish you were younger? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Quite often, yeah. Well, come on, tomorrow's Halloween, of course. Of yeah. course, yeah. you know. Yes. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? <clears throat> uh, Dr. Hoppy asked me that this morning during Pet Talk at uh, 6.50. I said, I'm going to be a radio announcer. It's worked so good yeah. all these years. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, sketchy. At uh, best, well, but. and people believe it. I don't believe yeah. I'm a radio announcer. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Ethan's going to be a police officer. Is he really? Mm-hmm. That is cool. He's five? Five. Five years old. Yeah. What a wonderful age. It's a pretty cool costume. We just stumbled upon it this past summer. It's got uh, all the stuffing. So he, he's not only a police officer, he's a buff police <laughs> officer because he's got the <laughs> muscles. So so he looks like uh, Chris Evans as Captain America as a police officer. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. pretty excited about it. All right, Halloween, obviously, on our minds here. Uh, we want to remind people out there to be safe. Uh, safety first out there, just as we kind of lead into our subject matter here. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of kids out there. You know, they're saying 41 million trick-or-treaters at 120 million different doors. Wow. <laughs> well, that ain't here. That ain't here. That's it. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah. uh, uh, as a local business, we want to... S- Remind folks out there about that? Yeah, so we actually uh, help sponsor um, the the uh, event that's held on Main Street in St. Johnsbury. Uh, just a great event where they close off a section of Main Street. And so it's going to be a – and it's great for everybody because, you know, it's safe, it's well lit, the road is closed, so, you know, it's going to be a good opportunity. Um, but here's something to think about with Halloween. So maybe you're one of those people who really get into the holiday, and God bless you because I love people who get into the holiday. Right. I, I love those who do. I'm not so good about it myself. I carve the pumpkins and all that, but I don't get into the, the scare tactics. But if you are th- – thinking about setting your property up for some some Halloween scare think about the liability component of it I know this kill you know this is the killer of fun it takes the excitement out of it not really but um, you know I there was one year that there was somebody who had a fire pit out in their driveway because it was a cold night and they thought you know what what a great thing let's put this fire pit in our driveway and that will passerbys can get warm that's a wonderful idea. Until the ghost shows up. Think about your exposure. One kid trips and falls, burns themselves, and you are now in the midst of a big liability claim because... The you know it could be a perceived negligence that you just had a wood fu- wood fire in your driveway in Halloween and a youngster now has injured themselves greatly on your property. So there's things that you want to consider. You know, try to mitigate any potential loss. So trip and fall hazards, things like that. It's just a good thing to do because you yes you have insurance and it's there for a reason, but don't make a reason for it to be there. You know what I mean? Well, we had talked to uh, something similar to this within the past couple of weeks here for uh, people that were having events. You know that, that are a holidays event, right? Like a yeah. haunted walk, a corn maze, or something like that. Yeah. I mean, nobody, nobody, nobody plans, and you say this in your commercials. Nobody plans for something to happen. No, like that. that's why they're called accidents, not on purposes. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's that's something to think about, is that you really want to just take that extra step. You know, ever since I've been in this industry, and I should say longer than that, because my parents were in this industry well before I ever even thought of getting into it, um, it, it very much can be perceived as the killer of fun industry. Because you look at things differently. You look at things as, okay, how is that safe? Is that safe? Could that potentially lead to a problem? Um, and I think it's advisable to some degree. Don't live your life that way necessarily, but you want to make sure you're being safe for, for events such as this. You know, when you have potentially thousand kids coming to your house, is there anything in that in, in that line of travel that could become a problem? Just a good thing to think about. Um, if you don't have railings on your porch, do you really want to have the kids come all the way up on the porch? Maybe, maybe not. You might want to have a little thing down off the porch to, to make it safe for them. So it's it's all about whether you want your insurance company to have to be triggered for liability or not, which can lead to a very expensive, expensive Halloween for everybody. We don't like it. It's expensive enough as it is. I mean, those bags and bags of candies and uh, actually folks out there that take the time to uh, you know, make up the homemade candy apple or caramel apples and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I had a neighbor who gave uh, toothpaste. Still don't like that neighbor. I heard that. Yeah. I actually heard that on the news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, maybe... Uh, you know, the parents loved it, but uh, us kids were like, what's up with that? Boom. I don't like this guy anymore. That one was in the <laughs> circular file. Uh, okay, we're heading Instead of getting in- egged, his house got toothpasted. Yeah. So. Uh, heading into uh, winter season. Yeah. Uh, snowmobiles, uh, side-by-sides, uh, skiing, all of this stuff. 
whatever people's insurance needs are, they need to contact you and make sure they got the coverage. Always dial it in. Always think about what's coming up uh, or think about your exposures. Maybe you're going to get a snowmobile. We'll start getting some quotes, see what the market's calling for. Uh, maybe you're thinking with the uh, heating prices that you want to maybe get into the world of burning wood or burning pellets. Uh, make sure your install is safe. Make sure your install is going to be up to spec for a company requirement. Why do companies tell you how to set things up? Because uh, I say this often, it is, it is going to be their checkbook that is on the line if, God forbid, a fire occurs. And if a fire occurs due to a faulty installation or maybe a cracked chimney, which is why you need to clean your chimneys and inspect your chimneys, uh, you know, erring on the side of caution is huge in this in this industry. So uh, it companies will ask that things are set up properly because they don't want to have a higher probability of paying out for a loss. And one of the most important properly things is actually two of them, smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. Do you know that every insurance company requires that you have them? Mm -hmm. um, so you are uh, technically required to have smoke detectors, uh, not necessarily carbon monoxide, highly advisable. Um, and then, of course, fire extinguishers are required, too. Um, and m people don't necessarily show that as a level of enforcement, but we advise strongly, hey, look, this is what the companies are going to want. So make sure you have them. Right. Carbon monoxide detectors, uh, most of those are only good for about five years, like the one we've got. Uh, when it's time to be replaced, beep. It tells you. It tells you. Beep. <laughs> Four hours later, you find Beep. where the beep is coming from. And I was like, yeah, where in the world is that coming from? So we've, we've got to uh, yeah. replace yeah. our and, and, carbon you know, monoxide. And, and the technology with the, the smoke detectors and, and carbon monoxide detectors has gotten better. Some of them now come with like 10-year lithium-ion batteries, right. which is just incredible. Companies love those um, because, you know, you got the campaigns with the fire departments every October or pretty much every time you change your clocks to change the batteries in your smoke detectors. Uh, with a 10-year lithium-ion, it's just a matter of remembering that you have that. And when 10 years comes, make sure you are uh, swapping out actually so. just heard that in a commercial this morning during the network news yeah all yeah. right good policies here on tuesday mornings contact yes yeah, so you can give us a call 748-5224 visit our website the barrett .com, google facebook and youtube all barrett insurance agency all right hope you and the little man have fun out there tomorrow night yeah yeah I'm, i was trying to find a convict outfit but i haven't yet so uh not one well i have but not one that fits this body so uh so i guess i'll just walk in my normal insurance man clothing you could do the hamburglar <laughs> <laughs> rubble, 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 rubble. Or, or the guy from Popeye. <laughs> yeah. I'll gladly pay you tomorrow for a burger today. Yes, yeah. or for a costume tomorrow. There you go. All right, good policies with Mike Barrett. Music coming up from Lady Antebellum. But first, Ed Sheeran.